Speaker, my question is for the Premier. Last February, the residents of Ottawa endured three weeks of lawlessness, lawlessness in their downtown core. People's personal safety, public safety, were both under threat. People suffered. Women couldn't walk to work and feel safe. Na families couldn't enjoy their neighbourhoods. They couldn't go to a park. Businesses were closed. And for two weeks, this Premier did nothing. Families want some answers as to why the Premier did nothing for two weeks. Two weeks. They deserve answers. And Speaker, quite frankly, they deserve an apology. They deserve the Premier saying, I'm sorry that you had to endure that and my inaction caused it to go longer. Question. Speaker, the question is simple. Will the Premier stop his court action, apologize to the citizens of Ottawa, and give testimony in front of the inquiry? Premier? It's really, uh, it's really unreal what, I, what I'm hearing there, Mr. Speaker. The, the member from Ottawa, he knows it's a federal inquiry. He lives there. He lives there into the federal government's use of the Federal Emergencies Act. Not the Provincial Emergency Act. This is about the federal government. As much as, as, much as a member Order. wants to play politics and pretend that it's a, a provincial situation, as much as the Order. member wants me to direct the police, he Order. knows I don't direct the police. I don't direct municipal police. I don't direct provincial police. And I do not Member for direct Gavinport the RCMP. Gondor. Top officials from the OPP that were running the operation in conjunction with the municipal police and the RCMP, in my opinion, they did an incredible job. Response. But again, to the member from Ottawa, he knows it's a federal issue, he knows it's a federal inquiry, and that's up to the federal government. Not up to the provincial government, up to the federal government. Supplementary question. Therein lies the problem. Exactly the same problem that happened last February. It's someone else's problem. It's not my problem. I'm not going to worry about it. And the problem is, when it comes to public safety and people's security, it's all of our problem. And, Speaker, the Premier was not there for the residents of the City of Ottawa. And I, you know, Speaker, you know, the Premier may win in court next week, but he's losing every single day in the court of public opinion. And I can remember three Premiers in this province who, when they were called to testify, Order. who, when they were called to testify before a committee Government or side through court, were there. Premier McGinty, Premier Harris, Premier Wynne. What makes this Premier any different? They did this because it was the right thing to do. They didn't shirk their responsibility. They knew that that came doors. with the office. So, Speaker, through you, I'll ask again, will the Premier simply drop his court action, Question. apologize to the City of Ottawa, and do the right thing, take his responsibility, and testify before the inquiry in Ottawa? Thank you, Speaker. Premier. Through you, Mr. Mr. Speaker. As the public saw, I was out there non-stop speaking to the people. As the member of Ottawa, as his neighbours, he was hiding in his basement. Let me be very clear, this is a federal inquiry. And I love, Mr. Speaker, I, I love that he uses previous premiers how to inquire. i got to remind him, he was part of the most politically corrupt government this province has ever... Will the Premier take his seat? The Premier must withdraw the unparliamentary comment. I withdraw.